Hi everyone, this is Jaja and welcome or welcome back to Be Colorful. We came at the seventh and last gateful card that I'm gonna create using the Tonic Craft Kit 55. Below in the description box you will find all the previous videos dedicated to this kit. For today's card we're gonna see another way to use our intricate dice creatively. Also I'm gonna show you how to create a decoration that looks like a precious jewel. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started right away! First, I prepared all the parts for the card base. The base rectangle, which measures 3 and a quarter by 5 and 5 sixteenth inches, adapt to the measurement of this die of the kit, with which I made the flaps for the gateful card. As I have already said at the beginning, today we're gonna see another idea on how to use our dice. In fact, with them we can create stencils. To create my stencil I'm gonna use this special sheet called Miller. If you don't have this type of sheet, you can make your stencils with cardstock or for something that is washable and more durable, you could use regular acetate sheet. To die cut miller and acetate, I use the C6 precision metal plate. This is because using normal plate, most of the time the acetate is not die cut well. If you don't have this plate, I can uh, suggest you increase uh, the thickness of your sandwich by adding uh, some cardstock. Try to see what thickness uh, ensures you the complete cut of the acetate. Now our stencil is ready and we just have to use it. In this case I'm going to use uh, one of the products included in the kit, the green glimmer paste. A product that could be an alternative to using normal glitter. If we want to use this uh, terrible <laughs> but gorgeous product, glitter pastes uh, at least uh, don't get uh, as dirty as uh, the normal glitter. But uh, mind you, you get uh, a little messy as well and some glitters uh, will appear suddenly for days anyway, but much less than a normal glitter powder. For this reason I'm gonna use a printer paper to protect my work surface. For me it's still frustrating to clean it from glitters. Someone always manages to escape the cloth. Ok, after fixing the stencil on some white cardstock, I'm gonna spread the glimmer paste using a spatula. I make two stencils. Between one and the other I washed and dried the stencil. And voila! I immediately clean the stencil before the glimmer paste dries or I risk to ruin it. Honestly, I'm not particularly good with the stencil technique. As you can see, in fact, in some point the paste has passed underneath the stencil and the drawing has not come out well defined. I don't know 
if uh, it's my fault or if uh, it's normal when uh, we apply not very thick uh, pastes. In any case, the solution that uh, I personally adapt is to clean up the areas with a pick tool, removing the excesses and redefining the lines of the design. Once this is done, I leave it to dry. I don't know the drying times exactly, but I think one to two hours is more than enough. Next, with the rectangle die of the kit, I'm going to die cut the stencils, forming two panels. In order not to dirty the whole cutting plate of the die cutter machine, I'm going to put a protective sheet. In fact, look at how much glitter is left on. I repeat everything for the second panel. Now I start to assemble the card base. After that I decided to add some decorative borders to the panels. I'm going to die cut the beautiful embossed paper included in the kit with the rectangle die. Then I cut it out into strips of paper. I glue one strip on the left and one on the right side of the two panels. Finally, I glue the panels on the gatefold card, adding a piece of paper in the center, just to keep uh, everything nice and level. I then move on to create the belly band for the card. I cut out a strip of the same embossed paper I used for the finishing edges. I wrap it on the card without tightening too much. I glue the two ends and the belly band is ready. I decided to embellish it by creating a decoration, my own decoration. As I said at the beginning of the video, I show you how to create a decoration that look like a small gemstone. With the small oval die that we find in the kit, I'm going to die cut the base of the gemstone on the white pearlescent paper, always included in the kit. To create the gemstone, I'm gonna use this leftover piece of colored paper with the shimmer powder from the previous card. So, still with the same oval die, I'm going to die cut the point of the panel that I like the most. I make the oval smaller by trim off the part with the decorative dot. Then, with my clear Versamark ink, I'm going to stamp the sentiment for you, which we find in the set of stamps, in the center of the oval. I emboss the sentiment with some pearlescent embossing powder. And now let's give this green oval the effect of a small gemstone. Still with a clear embossing ink, I don't use my Versamark ink so as not to dirty the sponge, I suck the entire oval thoroughly. I'm going to emboss it with clear embossing powder to keep the oval and not burn my fingers. I'm going to use a strip of paper where I apply tape runner adhesive, easy to remove. To get the gemstone effect, it is necessary to repeat the heat embossing several times.
from the second time on the melted powder will remain sticky enough to allow the embossing powder to adhere to the surface. We have a few seconds to apply the powder, so we don't need to dab the oval in the ink again. Having got a very consistent layer of embossing, it will take longer to dry, so don't touch it at all or you will ruin it. In addiction, you risk burning yourself. Trust me. Once dry, I remove it from the paper strip and we have a beautiful handmade gemstone. I also refine the oval base, embellishing it with a very light water green Nouveau Dream Drops. To bring the color of the gem to the card base as well, I'm gonna create the center of the flowers using the colored paper with shimmer powder and uh, making circles uh, with uh, a hole punch. For the side flowers I only use one section of the circle, less than half. To make the centers of the flowers look like um, gems too, I apply a clear glossy accent. I also add a few drops of uh, the same dream drops I used earlier. Once everything is dry, I just have to glue the little gemstone on the band, finishing this uh, precious gateful card. We have come to the end of this uh, series dedicated to the Tonic Craft Kit 55, with which we have created 7 gateful cards using dies designed for the creation of boxes. We have seen so many creative ways to use intricate dies and we have seen so many card making techniques. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and uh, have uh, inspired you. Thanks for joining with me, see you next time, bye bye and be colorful!